hello there friendly neighbors. And I would just like to say, from the very bottom of my heart, welcome back to my channel. Filming setup has changed. This is different. Not sure if I'm satisfied with it yet. Andromeda is being loud in the background. This is just how it is on my channel. Lighting is probably weird because once again, I don't understand lighting. Sound might be a little weird while I figure things out. Might take a couple videos, but hey, y'all are along for the ride and that's what matters. It is currently springtime. I love spring, mostly because I hate winter and spring brings the good things like um, I can garden again and now when it precipitates outside, it is no longer snow. It is in fact rain. This is the time of year that our ferrets go through some very important changes. Most ferrets begin to lose their beautiful luscious winter coats. Very sad about that. And our ferrets start to lose some of their winter chub. Once again, very sad about that. Andromeda is no longer the thick queen that she once was. And she is in fact now a skinny legend. Ooh. I'm sorry, it just... I love ferrets in winter, but I hate literally everything else about winter. You guys have obviously seen the title of today's video. Today I'm gonna to be bathing my ferrets with the help of some beautiful royalty-free spa music. It's what they deserve. Before I get into me just doing the shenanigans and bathing my ferrets, I do wanna talk a little bit about ferret safety when it comes to bathing, because it's something that a lot of people like to do because ferrets smell bad and a lot of people think, oh, ferrets smell bad, must give bath, will help with smell. Unfortunately, that's not actually the case and that's what we're gonna talk about really quickly. If you don't wanna hear me talk about giving ferrets bath and bath safety and how to safely bathe your ferrets, feel free to skip to the time that I have somewhere on my screen here. Um, I don't know what time it's going to be because I don't know how long I'm going to talk for. Probably for a long time, knowing me. And um, I haven't edited that part yet. So editing Kenya is doing that job for me. Oh, right. Go to this time if you don't want me to talk. Or just click off the video if you don't want me to talk. I would like it if you would stay, but I am not your keeper. And you have free will. So let's talk about ferret bath safety. The number one thing that I want everyone to be able to take away from this video, if you are going to be bathing your ferrets, is this. You should not be using any ferret shampoos that are sold at pet stores or online. I know you look at the shampoo, it's got a picture of a ferret on it and it says it's for ferrets. So that means it's for ferrets, right? No, 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 no. And the more you own ferrets, the more you're going to realize that at least 75% of the products out there that are marketed for ferrets are actually completely terrible for them. I've gone through a couple of other products on this channel before that are bad for ferrets. We're going to specifically just talk about shampoo really quickly and why it is bad for ferrets and you shouldn't be using it. The first reason it's bad is that ferrets are very, very sensitive senses of smell. They rely a lot on their sense of smell. So weird smells in shampoo are something that are going to completely throw them off. One of the ingredients listed on a lot of these shampoos is just Fragrances? I, what kind of fragrances? I don't know, just fragrances. Because the problem is, is when you are putting a scent on your ferret, first off, you're disrupting the way that they sense the world. Ferrets have very terrible sense of sight. So they rely a lot on their hearing and their sense of smell to explore the world. So if you have a ferret that's wandering around somewhere and the only thing they can smell is this weird fragrance that you have put on them, it's gonna make them probably pretty stressed out and it's just gonna make them have a bad time and not understand what's going on around them. We don't like that for our ferrets. The second reason it's bad is it can actually lead them to like stop eating or have not as much of an appetite. This is something that's talked about a little bit in Ferrets for Dummies when the author talks about why you shouldn't be using bitter apple sprays for your ferrets. And this is because they will bite into the bitter, bitter apple spray and then they will have that taste in their mouth and it makes them not want to eat food. The same logic applies to shampoos. If you aren't completely rinsing out that shampoo or God forbid, if you are using one of the waterless shampoos, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute, your ferret is gonna lick themselves and they're gonna get that taste in their mouth and that might make them not want to eat anymore, which is really dangerous. One ingredient that's in quite a lot of shampoos and very much in the Marshalls shampoo is aloe. Now, I could go on a huge vent about this thing in particular, but I will keep it very brief. Aloe is toxic to ferrets. Yes, the main shampoo that they have marketed with the aloe and the tea tree is one that you're supposed to theoretically rinse off of your ferrets, but it is possible that you're not gonna rinse all of it off or while your ferret has the shampoo on them, who knows, maybe they're gonna get some of it into their mouth or something like that. The real kicker is their waterless shampoos. One of the ingredients on these waterless shampoos is aloe. This waterless shampoo on the instructions, it says you're supposed to put it on your ferrets and then brush it out. How does that get rid of all of it? I'm sorry. Can someone who knows science explain to me how that gets rid of all of the waterless shampoo? I'm sure some of it gets flaky and comes off, 
but you're not getting rid of all of that shampoo. And now you have aloe on your ferret. And you want to know another little tidbit of irony on this whole aloe thing. If you go on the Marshall Ferret Instagram page, Marshall, AKA the company that owns this shampoo and sells it, they have a ferret care guide. And on their ferret care guide, on the list of toxic items for ferrets, they list aloe. And yet they're selling a product for you to put on your ferret that your ferret is very likely going to lick and therefore eat that contains aloe. Riddle me this, I don't understand. Can someone please explain? Marshalls, contact me. My contact info is in the bio. Please explain this to me because I legitimately want to understand what's going on. We're gonna move on because I'm feeling myself get a little bit heated. And I just want to have a relaxing spa day with my ferrets. I'm not here to get heated. The next reason you shouldn't buy shampoos is just that they're a waste of money. You're throwing your money away by buying them. I'm gonna to explain to you a much cheaper, much safer, much better alternative to buying shampoo for your ferrets. And you, you just don't need it, so don't do that. And the last reason that I don't think that you should be buying shampoos for your ferrets is that most of the shampoos out there are from Marshalls, which we just finished talking about, and I'm not gonna get heated again. Maybe. Marshalls is the company that I personally choose to boycott because they are the leading ferret male in North America. They are not a breeder despite what their packaging says on the food that they sell. They are in fact a mill and similar to puppy mills, they produce unhealthy ferrets. They support the mistreatment of ferrets. There's a bunch of sketchy stuff that goes on in those mills that though we don't have photographic evidence to prove, we have anecdotal evidence and just what we see in our ferrets that we can prove this by. I need to make a video on this subject because I got a lot of things to say and I don't have a lot of time right now to say them. That video will come eventually. Essentially what I'm saying is I boycott Marshall's ferrets and I very strongly encourage other people to do the same thing. Now I want to talk a little bit about the concept of overbathing ferrets. Overbathing ferrets is something that is very commonly done by first time ferret owners or people who don't understand how ferrets work and why you don't necessarily need to be bathing your ferrets. I normally bathe my ferrets twice a year, sometimes three times, depending on if they've gotten into something. Lyra has a bad habit of like stepping in poop in her litter box. And so in those instances, I will wash her lower half to clean it off, something like that, just really quickly in the sink. I bathe my ferrets in fall and in spring. And the reason that I bathe them during these seasons is this is when they are blowing their coats and I like to bathe them to sort of pull some of that hair off of their bodies so that they aren't shedding all over my house and it can just give them a little bit of comfort pulling some of that hair off. Just like cats, ferrets are self-cleaning and that's the reason that you only need to bathe them one to two times a year, if even. There are plenty of people who literally never bathe their ferrets and their ferrets are perfectly healthy. Despite the fact that they have a little bit of musk to them, ferrets are actually relatively clean animals and they like to be clean. If you own a ferret, you will notice you see them grooming themselves and each other pretty often. Grooming each other is a very common social activity that ferrets do, and it's just a little way for them to be like, I love you, but my ferret smells bad. I wanna bathe it, it, it stinks, it smells, it smells gross. Um, well, there are a couple things I know about the world. Water is wet, and ferrets have a musky smell. If you own a ferret, you signed up for a life of having an animal that has a musky smell. And uh, if that's not what you want, then, um, don't want a ferret. Because the fact of the matter is, when you are overbathing your ferret, you're actually causing them to smell worse. Overbathing your ferret strips their skin of its natural oils, and what that does is it makes their body produce even more oils. So for maybe a couple of days, they're gonna smell like the fragrances, as we talked about, that's in these shampoos, but right after that, they're actually gonna start smelling even worse, and then you're probably gonna say, oh, I'm gonna bathe my ferret again. And guess what's gonna happen in a couple days? Your ferret's gonna smell even worse than if you had just left it. And this repeated process just makes it even worse and worse and worse, and their skin is gonna get so dry, and they're gonna be so itchy, and they're gonna smell so bad, but it's sort of going to be must by fragrances, but I honestly think the fragrances smell just as bad anyway. Oh, that sentence got away from me. And then the last reason why um, overbathing is bad is that it can actually lead to hairballs being caused. When you bathe your ferrets, they're going to spend a little bit of time grooming themselves because they're wet and they want to be dry again. And what that grooming does is it makes them take all their hair off. And if they're just swallowing a whole bunch of hair, then they can get a hairball. So if you are bathing your ferrets to get rid of their seasonal coat blow, like I am gonna be doing, just make sure that you're really trying to get as much hair off of them as possible. And I always like to recommend following a bath with a little bit of raw egg. Raw egg has anecdotally shown that it can help with hairball prevention. And it's also just a yummy snack and it gives them a lot of extra vitamins. Um, so there's nothing wrong with feeding your ferrets a little bit of raw egg after you've tortured them by bathing them. 
because um, most ferrets don't like the bath. My girls sure don't like the bath at all. They're gonna be angry with me after today, but they get an egg as a reward, so. Now we're gonna move on to talking a little bit about bath safety. So as I mentioned earlier, I would only recommend bathing your ferrets one to two times a year, maybe three if it's absolutely necessary. But how do we safely bathe our ferrets? Kenya, you keep talking about how to do it. Why haven't you shown us? Well, dear watcher of this video, I will show you now. So for bathing your ferrets, you only really need three materials. You need some sort of sock. I got these ones from the dollar store. you can just use an old sock that you have or cut up some tights. You can also just use a plastic bag with some holes in it or a cheesecloth. I don't know, you're just looking for something meshy that's this kind of material. So that's your first, I don't know where that went, I'll find it later. The second thing that you're gonna need is oats. So these are uncooked whole oats, not instant. They're not the kind that comes in one of those packets with the little dinosaur eggs. Oh, I love dinosaur eggs. I should add that to the grocery list. And then the last thing you're gonna need is a cup. You don't necessarily need this. I just find it easier to do it this way and you'll see why. And then I guess you need like water and a bath and I mean, I'd recommend a towel. That's just me and probably a ferret or two. So I guess that's like six items, seven. I can't do math. I'm not here for math, I'm here for ferrets. So how do we get this oat bath set up? Oat? Do I say oat weird? Is that a Canadian thing? Oat? Are you guys gonna come at me in the comments like you do when I say sorry? Oat? What are you gonna do? You're gonna put your cup down or don't do that. This is just a step that I do. And then you're gonna wrap the edge of your little sock around the cup and you're just gonna dump some oats in. I normally put about a quarter cup. It's up to you. Just do as many as your heart is feeling. I believe in you, you can do it. Um, and then you just pop that sock right off the cup, tie that bad boy right up, and then you got a little a little ferret bath bomb. That's what I like to call them. I like to imagine they're bath bombs. Um, they're, just, they're just not as pretty as the ones from Lush. And you know, it's a sock with oats in it, but sometimes you gotta call things things to make yourself a little bit happy, get that little serotonin going. Oh. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna fill up your bathtub where you're gonna be bathing your ferrets or your sink. Some people bathe their ferrets in the sink or hell, I don't know, basin of water. You know what? Whatever boats your float, just do that. Just be happy and be you. Make sure that the water you're filling it up with is not too hot. You want it like either room temperature or just above room temperature because you don't wanna accidentally hurt your little babies. Your little babies, you're trying to bathe them. You're not trying to hurt them. So you can fill up your water and throw your sock in there while it's filling up, or you can throw it in after. Again, I'm not your keeper. You can do whatever you want. I normally like to just fill it up like two inches. I don't fill it completely so my ferrets are actually swimming. My ferrets really don't like the bath, so I try and make this the least stressful situation for them as I possibly can. So by just putting a little bit of water, it's just a little less scary for them. Um, and then you, you put your ferrets in it and you have a good time. That's how you bath a ferret. The aftermath of a ferret bath is probably the, one of the cutest experiences of ferret ownership, which you guys will see once I'm done bathing my ferrets, because it is pretty cute. Them noodles get wiggly. They get wiggly. We're gonna go. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just, I'm, let's go to the bath. Let's go guys, let's go. Hey, Elara. Oh no. I'm sorry. These are the words you say, but not the words you mean. Let's get in here, it's gonna be okay. It's not the end of the world. Disagree, but K. But hey, think about it this way. You constantly torture me. And I'll do it more. Look at all this patchy fur you got going on. Well, that's rude. You're so patchy because you've got half of your winter coat on and half of it's off. Oh, good girl, Rao Rao. Okay, I guess this yeah. isn't that bad. Good girl. Oh, sweet Jesus, freedom, oh God, finally. You have this good in the general. There we go. Great girl, Rao Rao. <laughs> It's time for the baby. <laughs> yes, I've never actually given you a bath. Oh no, I gave you one bath when I first got you last year. You ready? I'm ready. Come here. What is this? What is that? Who are you? Oh wait, mum. 
Oh, you're being so good, Ryra. Yes, I am the best. Look at all this hair coming off of you. I am no longer fuzzy. Pat pat. Yeah. Dry dry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Ryra. It's Andromeda's turn. What are your thoughts on the experience that's about to happen, Andromeda? Nothing positive. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you. I promise I love you. Oh. Must not drown, must not drown, must not drown. Yeah, you know, you can stand. You don't have to swim. It's literally two inches deep. You have three inch legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, we can be done, you little drowned rat. Finally, freedom. It's time for the old lady. I am used to this. All right, you guys might be about to witness one of the unfortunate things that sometimes happens when ferrets get in the bath, and that's when they just poop themselves because Luna just woke up and she doesn't seem to want to go to the bathroom. So uh, that might just happen in the bath, in which case um, this bath will be called off rather quickly. Little did you know, foolish mother, that is just according to Keikaku. Torture. Torture. Okay, this part is nice, I guess. Psych, I hate it. Once again, I am calling down a curse upon you and your family. This curse will be forged with magic so powerful that no gods, old or new, will be able to free you. For the remainder of your lives, you will suffer the way I am suffering now. Repent your sins at once, evil witch. Or you will face my undying and eternal wrath. Hey, girl, Luna. You escaped this time. Barely. So now the bath time's done. We get all these silly noodles. And they're being real silly. This is the best part about bathing ferrets in my experience. It is this chaos that happens afterwards. Must become dry. What was that? I will rub myself dry or die trying. Dry or die. 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 Can I help you? Must run. Egg, 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 egg. I would like some egg too. Egg, 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 egg. egg, 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 egg. egg. Luna, you can bear for some egg? Come for the one now. <laughs> can I interest you in some egg? Full offense, but I would rather die than accept your peace treaty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Luna is pretty pretty mad at me still, but unhand me, heathen. Okay, well, goodbye. Teenagers. <laughs> Am I right? Let's get Lyra up in here. The one ferret that actually loves me unconditionally. And give me all the serotonin I'll ever need. That and the antidepressants. They really do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe because by doing all of those things, you too, yes you, right there you, you can become a citizen of the friendly neighborhood, which in my personal and professional opinion is the very best place that you can be. I will see you guys next week when I do something. I'm not quite sure what yet. I do not plan that far ahead. Bye everyone.